Hello friends, I am Vyomesh Singh. Today we are going to talk about Women Technical Program and this video is specifically for girls. We will talk about Women Technical Program with Vansika. See what Google WTM Scholar 2020. So she will tell us about her experience and how to apply and many more things. So we will talk about it. And first thing, Vansika, please introduce yourself. Uh, I am Vanchika Shukla, currently pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering at Triple ID Nagpur. I have recently, I have completed my first year and now I am in second year. I got this opportunity to be a WTM scholar in my first year only. First year only. Okay. So, Women Tech Maker is a huge achievement. Do you consider it? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> so, t first thing, tell us everyone. What is Women Tech Maker? Women Tech Makers or earlier it used to be known as Google uh, Women Tech Makers program for Anita Poor Memorial Scholarship. So it was started in the memory of Dr. Anita Poor, visions of creating gender, uh, gender equality in tech by encouraging women to be active participants and leaders in tech field. So earlier the application was used to be open for all the university students, females. Uh, from year one to year four of the undergraduate course but from 2019 onwards there was a slight change in the application process now the applicants who are in year one or year two of their undergraduate course can apply for this and uh, for computer science uh, women technical scholarship is open for asia asia pacific north america and um, emea that is europe middle east and africa what are the benefits of Google WTM scholarship? The scholarship comprises of mainly three elements, uh, which are the first one is community. It is an online network of uh, fellow scholars who re uh, share resources and also support the global community. The second one is retreat. It is an opportunity for all the scholars to interact with other scholars to meet some of the amazing Google employees and also to meet some of the fascinating speakers. And the third one is the scholarship. So an academic scholarship is awarded to the all the scholars who uh, are good in their academics based upon their leadership qualities and also their support for community. What is the scholarship? The scholarship amount, yeah, okay. So the scholarship amount is thousand USD dollars. Thousand USD dollars. Yeah. Okay, it's a huge. It's a one year college fees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so what is the eligibility criteria for Google WTM? Okay, so uh, to be eligible to apply for WTM scholarship, there are mainly three criteria. The first one is candidate should identify as female. The second one is be in the year one or year two of the undergraduate course, course studying computer science, computer engineering, or any other technical field. And the third one is to hold a good academic record. This year, the application was open for students from India, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and mainland China. Okay. So it's not for uh, third year and final year student? Actually, earlier it used to be for all university students, but now it is for year one and year two or for female students. What is procedure for Google WTM scholarship? Okay, so the application process comprises of three rounds uh, and it opens from like this year, it, it, the last date for the application was 30th April. You know, you get uh, one to two months time for preparing your resumes and uh, for preparing your answers. So in the first part of the application process, you are asked to submit your academic scores. The second one is your contact information and institute information. The third one is answers to two essay questions. And the fourth one is answers uh, your updated resume. Every year the question varies and uh, essay questions, it gets varied every year. So this year the following two questions were asked. The first one was that uh, the challenges that you have faced due to lack of inclusion and diversity of women in tech and how can you address these problems? And the second one was the technology that has excited you the most and how it is changing your region. After the first round, the 
applicants who get shortlisted for the second round there is a time span of 2 to 3 weeks second round is a google online challenge uh, in which uh, 30 questions are asked and all these questions have to be answered in 30 minutes of the questions that are asked are from computer basics c c++ python programming and also some of the questions from data structures and algorithms some tips for uh, writing good essays i would like to give so be very true and genuine while writing your answers then uh, your essay answer answer should demonstrate your passion for inclusion and diversity of women in tech and also use simple words and do keep in mind not to exceed the world limit and for google online challenge i would like to say that since you have to answer all these 30 questions in 30 minutes that is not a lot of time try to answer the questions that are easier for you and in the end if you get time so move on to the difficult ones and also one thing that as there is no mar negative marking try to attempt every question uh what was the difficulty the second, level of second round questions technical questions uh it was uh, easy medium and hard so like uh, in 30 questions uh, you can say 15 were easy then five were medium and the other five were you know the hardest one the remaining were the hardest okay okay so after the second round those who are able to clear the second round they receive an email from the google recruiting team for the final round that is telephonic interview which happens with a with an employee from google this year like the slots for the interview were from 9th of may to 9th of june to 12th of june and my interview was on 12 june uh, the interview it lasts for 30 to 45 minutes and it completely depends upon your interviewer how much questions he or she want, is going to ask from you the questions that i was asked are the following so i was asked about the questions related to my essay answers that i mentioned in the first part of the application process also uh, my outreach activities and the project that i mentioned on my resume and my future goals and sometimes they do ask you hypothetical questions so they ask me one where i was asked that if i get 1 billion dollar rupees how am i going to use that money to increase the inclusion and diversity of women in tech my interview lasted for 45 minutes and yeah it was a great one so um this year there were 2600 applications um and 144 telephonic conversations and finally from india and new zealand china there were 74 scholars who cleared wdm scholarship 2020 and so it's a end, great achievement for you i think ah uh, yeah actually it is um because you know there are a lot of applications they get then the short listing occurs like 2600 applications then for the google online challenge nearly 500 then 144 and finally 74 so i feel it requires experience. i feel it requires technical knowledge as well as how much do you want to pursue your work for diversity section or specifically yeah. for the women in the technical field yeah exactly uh, i mean uh, how you are you you know what is your opinion for uh, the lack of diversity and women in tech so that is one of the most important part many companies uh, uh, right now going for uh, diversity recruitment process like adobe and some more companies yeah exactly uh, because of uh, in the entire world the female contributes to very less in tech there are many companies who are taking the initiatives to bring more and more women in tech field actually so, companies are interested to take women but thing is our we can say social scenario ki women are very less in the college or we can say education wise they are lacking you can see in iit nit anywhere uh, around 10 to 20% are women maximum yeah exactly what was your experience in google retreat and meeting with other people in google scholarship meet okay so like every year the scholarship so the scholars they get an opportunity to visit uh, a google you know uh, google campus so Where? like previous year uh, google headquarters okay they provide you all the facility like fare ticket air fare and everything yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, everything it's is fully provided. funded. The, yeah, it's fully funded, and uh, like last year, the retreat retreat was in Sydney, and before that, it was in uh, Shanghai, I guess. So, but this year, due to the pandemic, the retreat was virtual. So, um, but it was a great experience, and the retreat was virtual for the first time. But it was a great experience to interact with amazing people. Miss, if anyone. got the chance to visit the google office itself it is a great opportunity and yeah it's fully funded by google that means you are getting the scholarship of 1000 and they are spending more than 3000 dollar on you to bring you to the google campus we can say yeah exactly all the travel expenses you are staying everything everything so because of corona you missed that chance but yeah. anyhow <laughs> what can we say <laughs> corona is not going anywhere right now yeah exactly okay. but it is a great experience so one must you know one must apply for this what do you want to suggest to the other fellow scholars or btech first year second year student uh, what knowledge or technical skills they should have to apply for the google scholar um okay so <clears throat> for like first year uh they don't have so much experience for the technical round so uh, you know so you should have uh, your basic strong like the technical interview the questions that they asked were from c c++ and these are the subjects that are uh, taught in the first semester try to keep your basics very strong and um, uh, for essay answers be very true and genuine uh, you know don't just bluff writing the essays be very simple use very simple words and for the telephonic interview uh you can practice with your friends for the interview because it might be the it might be the scenario that you have never appeared for such an interview but the but your interviewer is so friendly that uh, you know you after some time you get very comfortable and it uh, you know interview goes great Uh, at the end, I would like to say that um, whether you are in year one or year two, just don't think about whether applying or not. Just go for it because it is a wonderful experience to interact with uh, fellow scholars, Google employees, and you know, on this entire WTM journey, you get to learn a lot of things, and that is really a great inspiration. So just apply. Okay. Thank you, Vansika. Thank you very much, and. I oh, hope you, you so would much. achieve a lot in your career in future, and you will do something really good for diversity drives. Yeah, sure, I will do. Uh, and thank you so much for having me on your channel. And if you like, if, if everyone those who like this video, please like and subscribe and share. Thank you, thank you very much, Vansika.